I would now like to invite actor and activist Kendrick Sampson to the stage. You may recognize Kendrick from shows like HBO's Insecure or ABC's How to Get Away with Murder, but he is so much more than just a performer. A native Houstonian, Kendrick started his foundation, Build Power, in order to undo structural oppression starting at the grassroots level. Please help me welcome Kendrick Sampson. My name is Kendrick Sampson. I'm an actor, I'm an activist, and I believe that humans don't belong in cages. Um, this Bill of Rights is just the beginning. We're here to let the government know that human beings have basic human rights, and the government doesn't have a right to violate those rights. Women are fleeing sexual violence in their countries and presenting themselves at the border here because our government has done so, so much to market itself as a protector and a liberator and a place for freedom. Many of them flee sexual violence only to face sexual violence in these camps. We call ourselves the land of the free and the home of the brave. How are we the land of the free when we cage and enslave more people than any other country? How are we the home of the brave when our main motivation is supposedly fear that these people might have some ulterior motive? Trans women are being neglected necessary medical care and facing high rates of sexual violence. 4,500, 4,500 claims of sexual abuse of immigrant children have been reported in the last four years. Families are being traumatized and there is severely inadequate mental health care. These people have had enough trauma already, so much that they had, they had to leave their homes. You would think that a country that has marketed, marketed itself as we have should have a whole squad of adequate medical care and trauma-informed mental health care and legal assistance waiting for those who need it most, those who present themselves at the border. Instead, they have more trauma waiting to be forced onto already traumatized people. I've met several black migrants that have traveled across the largest bodies of water, trekked through the forest, watching their travel companions die along the way, stepping over dead bodies, falling ill with no medical care, facing violence, crime, all for the dream that America promotes, only to encounter racism that plagues our country, the misogyny and oppression that is the American legal system that was created to protect a very small group of white men. White men, that's it. So why, there's, there's no question that this system would be misogynistic, would allow for sexual violence when it was not created for women. It would be racist when it was not created for black, brown, and indigenous people. It was created to protect a very small group of elite white men. Borders that were made up to divide and protect stolen land. This has to end, and we have the power to do that. The only way to beat these systems with ridiculous amounts of financial power is with people power. That's what we plan to do. Organize, coalition build. We already have a role to play. We all have a role to play. We already have a role to play and we all have a role to play. We can donate, support legislation, host educational events, protest these camps, demand that they be closed, and that the people in them be cared for. Demand your representative support, HR 3918, uh, Senate Bill 2113, and HR 2415. Vote, right? We can vote. We can yell. We can scream. We can put our bodies on the line. We can make videos. We can spread know your rights information. Organize your neighbors, your family. Build community around liberation. Demand our government accept these Bill of Rights because with guaranteed human rights, these guaranteed human rights, these camps can't exist. If our government can't keep its promise, we have to govern our government. Hold them accountable and prove that we are the land of the free and the home of the brave. Prove it. Prove that we will take in and take care of those who are in need. Prove that if, if anyone doesn't hold these sacred values of human rights and dignity and protection of the most vulnerable, that you don't belong in office and we will ensure that you are removed, replaced, and held accountable. Thank you.